What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Cold House TV. This is your boy, Ja, and I'm about to do a video reaction to Dusty Dave. One of my subscribers has sent me a video that Dusty Dave did a few hours responding to me. Now, this dude made about an hour and a 40-minute live talking about absolutely nothing. So we're not going to be doing an hour and a half of video reaction. We're not doing that. We're going to make this quick as possible. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're on the road to 7K. Oh. On your channel yet. That ass should have got to get into this, man. Because every time I look around on you, we're shaking. I see it's 10 people in here already and shit, man, waiting for me to come in. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. I see it's 10 people all. This nigga got an oversized condom cap stuck on and slapped on his head. I'm dead. See how baggy that shit look, bro? <laughs> that nigga is sad, bro. Look at the gray hairs in this motherfucking goatee. Look at this nigga. Baggy ass white beater. You not me, my nigga. It's funny how niggas diss call outs because call outs was rocking the white beater. At least call outs is cut up. At least call outs got some physique to them. Man, you looking frail and flabby and sick, man. Clothes all over the place. Pissy air bed that you sleep on every night. Clothes all over the place on the air bed. Shit smelling mad pissy. Ready up in the joint, bro. That's crazy, bro. It's 10 people, bro, already in. Nigga dreads is falling off his head, man. Like, why you got a fucking, why you got an oversized stocking cap on your head, man? The joint, bro. <laughs> Damn, son, something wrong with y'all, bro. Oh, man, man. And he got the shit turned inside out. Salute, though, shaking. Yeah, man, um, I just gotta... I'm telling you, man. This is not who you want to be like, kids. Stay in school, man. Do something with your life, man. Or you gonna end up like this dude. 43 and pop. I'm begging for donations every day. And mad because people are criticizing him. He always got somebody's name in his mouth. But when other people criticize him and do video reactions to him, he cries and he complains. He don't like it. I get into this, man, because every time I look around on YouTube and shit, man. Look, he, how you get the bro? That's what I'm trying to tell you. This nigga, he doesn't care about his personal hygiene. He jumps on live. As soon as he get up out the bed, jump up out the bed. Don't even stretch or nothing. He just jump on his live with his dirty ass face, cold all in his eyes, wiping his face. Boy, like, go wash your face. Go get a rag. Wash your face, brush your teeth before you even jump online. You just jump straight online, hoping and praying you get a donation. Man, you know, you just see the same thing, man. You know what I'm saying? The same shit going on, bro. Look how dirty boy face is. Look, as soon as he starts to lie, like, man, look how I'm dirty, look. Up. Yeah, man, Um, I just got to get into this, man, because every time I look around on YouTube and shit, man, you know, you just see the same thing, man. You know what I'm saying? The same shit going on, bro. Like, the same things over and over and over and over, man. That's what you see. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's because it's like redundant. You know what I'm saying? Redundant behavior, bro. Like, y'all niggas got to get y'all channels up, homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop chasing another nigga clout. The channel is up. On the brink of 7K. So our subscribers is up. We only been on YouTube for a year. You know how long it takes for a lot of niggas to get they subs up on this YouTube shit, nigga? 
I'm saying? Like, get your numbers up, get your views up, get your get your millions. This nigga had Hassan Campbell come on his channel and he's still and you still stuck at 16k. You got that alley hoop from Hassan, you supposed to take that shit to the top. You still stuck, stagnated with Blue Boy dick in your mouth, Mikey P dick in your mouth every day. Until somebody hurt you. The reason why niggas is making these blogs about you is to prevent you from getting hurt, my nigga. Your cousin K, your, your cousin Tay, your one-eyed cousin Tay gave you another chance, an opportunity to move back in her fucking crib, my nigga. You just moved back in the crib, fresh in the crib, and you already bringing problems to your cousin's crib. So that means you don't give a fuck about her safety or, no, or none of the kids that are staying in the crib. Because you bringing the same type of problems that got you kicked out and putting and was bouncing around from shelter to shelter, from VA to this spot to that spot, from upstate, from VA, you got kicked out of the shelter. When your cousin kicked you out, you was in the shelter in VA. You ain't have no family. You ain't know nobody in VA. Most people go to shelters if they ain't got nowhere to go to move close to the family where their family stay at. You didn't know nobody in VA. You moved to VA because you had no other place to go and you were scared to come back to the town because you know the shit that you be blogging about, you be incriminating a lot of niggas from the shit that you be saying out your mouth on this YouTube shit. And you get mad when niggas confront you and expose you about it. I'm going to keep exposing you. Other YouTubers, they're going to keep exposing you. Interviews up. You know what I'm saying? Stop. Stop always trolling another creator. That shit is whack. That shit is corny, bro. You know what I mean? Like, having to see shit all the time. Nigga talking about you. Like, yo, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, you another creator. I can see if you talking about another nigga. They ain't, they ain't in the YouTube community. Cool. Listen, man, it's the same shit. The same way you talking about Blue Boy. It's the same way we're going to continue to keep criticizing you for the dumb shit that you say on YouTube. You put out what you get in. You can't expect to run your mouth about other people that you don't know. You don't know Blue Boy. You don't know Mikey B. You don't even know Disco Baller. A Disco Baller was, was holding down the set. He was the god. He wasn't the godfather, but you know what I'm saying? He was a leader. He was holding that shit down for years. The same nigga that was in the same hood as you don't even know you like that. Yeah, nigga seen you a few times in different spots and shit like that, but they said you was a, you was a chef up north, man. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why you didn't get left up north is because you was a doja. You was dick riding other niggas to get by. You know what your problem is? The shit that you be talking about out your mouth online, you don't know none of these niggas. You getting fed this information from a nigga that used to be your big homie that was no good, that did a whole interview trying to expose the same set that he was down with and he got shot and thrown out the whip and niggas said he was no good no more. So you felt some type of way about it. That's the that's where that's where you getting your information from. A nigga that you looked up to, that you thought that was real right, homie shot him and threw him out the web. So now he's feeding you all this false information, and that shit is giving you the battery and the juice in your back to come online, and you feel like you can say whatever the fuck you want to say out your mouth without no repercussions because you you keep skipping states. You're not staying in one place. You're all over the place. I don't even think you'll be able to make it through the summer staying at your cousin's crib. Because you already creating problems for her and her family. Take got kids over there, bro. You making shit hot for yourself and her. You talking about celebrities or even me. I might be talking about Blue Boy or... But these niggas ain't in the YouTube community. Mm -hmm. They ain't... Blue Boy is in the YouTube community just because he doesn't have a um a YouTube channel. He's still in the YouTube community. He was on he did an interview with Vlad TV. Vlad TV is one of the biggest bloggers on YouTube. So you see Blue Boy is in the algorithm. You see he's getting all this attention. The attention and spotlight is on Blue Boy. And you hate him because you've been on YouTube for four years now. And you still stuck on 16. You struggling. 
you got 16 and some change, like 16,500. And you got that extra 500 subscribers from getting that push from Hassan Campbell. I came on the internet with no push. Just calling niggas out. Calling shit the way I see it. Exposing fake fraud niggas like you. That keep lying to the people and trying to scam them out of donations. You did nothing with that donation money. All them thousands and thousands of dollars that little pug and all these other niggas was donating to you ain't did nothing with it. You ain't built no studio. You ain't getting no whip with that. You made no life changing move. You not you not like that, bro. You not like that. You just talk and run your mouth until you get hurt. That's all that's gonna happen to you, man. Somebody gonna see you and recognize you from YouTube, catch you in when you in the store somewhere in Ohio. The niggas going to park you up. YouTube creators, I'm not sitting here trolling other YouTube Like, it's, it's just redundancy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, you infatuated with another man. You infatuated with another dude. Yeah, you infatuated with Blue Boy. You infatuated with Disco Baller. You infatuated with every blood that came on YouTube and told a story and never mentioned you. You was never mentioned by none of the big fools that then came online and told their stories. Whether some of them made a mockery out of this bloodshed or not, they still had a legacy at one point in time. You never had one. You was just around, you saw shit, but you was never included in nothing. You know what I'm saying? You used to cook for niggas, you used to do shit for niggas. That real niggas is just not going to do. It's just certain shit I know I'm not going to do. I know I'm a, if I'm up north, nigga, I'm not chef enough for nobody. I'm not doing none of that. You was chefing for niggas just to get by, man. You know what I'm saying? You're humming and bumming ways. This is what niggas don't like about you. You get mad at everybody that... Don't want niggas come to your page just to watch to see your downfall. Niggas don't come to see you glow up or niggas don't want to see you do good, bro. You always gonna be stuck in that same situation you want. Like I said, you'll be out of Tate's crib before the summer is over. I can guarantee you that. You'd be back in another state somewhere in their shelter. And you couldn't even live down there. When you was down there in BA, you got kicked out of the shelter because of your mouth. You was being disrespectful towards the female security guard. You was running around acting like that was your place. No, when you in the shelter, there's rules and regulations, man, that you got to apply by. And you just, you a nigga that got, you got authority issues. And this is why you can never stay nowhere. Bounce around from pillow to post, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like 50 years old, still on YouTube, begging for donations. While everybody else done moved on with their life. Dude, that's a YouTube creator like you a YouTube creator. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit don't make no sense. Like, bro, anytime you ain't got no views, that's what you're going to do? You're going to talk about another YouTuber and shit? Like... That don't make no sense. You talking about yourself, man. I know you see my content. You watch my content. You know I put out other content. So stop putting out that lie to your viewers. We sh all of us, majority of, the majority of us YouTubers that's in the beef sector, we all share, we all be sharing the same subscribers, bro. None of these motherfuckers is loyal. They bounce from my cup, from my page to your page to this person's page to that person's page. So you see what's going on. You see the views. So stop putting out that perception like we not getting no views. My channel is well over a million views. And it's only going to get better. Yo, Ray Lope, you capped yesterday, man. This dude, man, he don't got no shame in his game, bro. He wake up out his bed with dirty, with dirty face, stink mouth, 
drinking two liter bottles of Pepsi's early in the morning. Talking shit about other dudes, mad because niggas was locked up like you, came home and was able to get put in a better position than you. And you can't stand that. All them niggas that you talking about, all them OG niggas that you talking about, they all doing better than you, bro. And you was out here in the town. You you came home before all of them. A lot of these OG niggas is just now coming home. And they in a better situation than you. That shit is sad, man. Yeah, but it's drip. The niggas are old, man. Look at the gray in this gold tee. You don't see no gray in you don't see no gray in, in my, my gold tee, my beard and nothing like that. I'm still a young man. Thirty five is still young. It's not it's not I'm not a twenty no more. I'm not twenty five. But thirty five is young. This nigga's forty three, forty four. His age shows on him. Look at the bags under his eyes. Look at the gray, look at his gray goatee. The nigga got old man habits, man. Only an old man or, or a dirty bum nigga is gonna just get straight up out of his bed and turn on and turn on his YouTube channel and press record. Without washing your face, brushing your teeth, clothes all over the all over his air bed. You know that shit smell like mad piss, cat piss to be exact. Soda cap from Pepsi bottle from probably two, three days ago, still on the table. Dirty table. You see the ashes all over this table from the weed, from the roach clips. You know, you wake up in the morning looking to look for a roach clip, hoping you can spot a roach clip from two, three days ago. Typical bro man, he bro man, fifth floor nigga, man. That shit is whack. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ass. It is whack that you talking about. You talk about blue boy every day. You talk about dudes that's not even worrying about you. You talk about niggas that don't even know you. Never seen you. Put no work in or nothing. It's funny how you got an issue with blue boy, but you can't find out one blood nigga that then came on YouTube or in the streets that could verify who you are. Nobody never vouched for you. Shaquel, why Shaquel and Killer Kev and none of these niggas and CK and them never been up on your channel? Since the three years, you've been, three, four years you've been on. Maybe CK probably been on your shit about once or twice. But I never seen Shaquel and none of them other niggas. You know what I'm saying? All right. You crazy, you bugged out, man. Shit is whack, man. You know what I mean? Like... Come on, bro. It's like, yo, bro, when you gonna, like, when you... He be mad, because I be breaking him down, bro. I break this nigga down to a T like no other. You can't stand that. My content is better than you. You talk about the same shit every single day. Blue boy, blue boy, blue boy, blue boy. You talk about the same shit every day. I do reactions. I do current events, shit, that, shit that's going on in the street. I talk about when females, are, innocent females are getting killed by these crazy ass men out here. I talk about the youth, different shit. I'm not just stuck on one topic. It's just that talking about you is, is wreck. It's recreation because I know being that I do have a young fan base from the age of 18 to 25, I know why it's because I post a lot of drill content as well. But I do also know I have an older crowd like you that's like 40 and plus, 40, like 40, 40 and plus, yeah, that like to see me clown you from time to time. So occasionally, yeah, I might want to put a smile on their face and make a video dissing you. There's nothing wrong in, 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 in pleasing my, my supporters from time to time. Because I know my young viewers, they don't know who the fuck you are. I'm not going to make this a long one, man. Listen, y'all get in the comment section, man. This is your boy, Call Out TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We got more content on the way.